When it comes to being a good tinkerer, a great tool to have in your arsenal is the ability to quickly mock up a mobile app. But programming an app from scratch is very time consuming. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make a simple Android app with MIT's App Inventor so that you can spend less time on creating an app and more time with your other projects. No programming is required for this tutorial. The idea is to make an app that 1. takes pictures, 2. overlays an image on that picture, 3. overlays text on the picture as well, and 4. can share the image online. And to properly set your expectations, this is just going to be the basics on how to use the App Inventor, and it's not really for serious developers, and also no, this is not a paid product placement. Alright, we've got 7 minutes to do this, so let's start tinkering. On the App Inventor website, click Create New App. It forces you to log in with your Google account, so if you're at all uncomfortable with that, you're not going to be able to use this program. Click Start New Project and then give it a name. Alright, now this is the main interface. You have a phone simulator in the middle, a list of different drag and drop components to the left, and a component configuration panel to the right. In this panel, you can edit component settings. Now, for instance, on our screen component, we can use it to add a description, name, icon, background, and so on. All right, let's start designing our app. You can begin by clicking and dragging a label component onto the phone. Then add a canvas, three buttons, and a text box. To help organize things, you can drag out a horizontal layout component and move stuff into it. You can also adjust height and width in the configuration panel. Ultimately, you want it to look something like this. Change this label text to whatever you want to call your app and then select the first button. This is going to be the one that takes a picture, so go ahead and rename it to something that's more relevant and change the text to say picture. The text box is for the image description and then you can add a hint here so that the users know what it's for. This will be the apply button and this last one will be the share button. Select the canvas and add an image as the background. You can download the ones that I'm using in this video at this link or you can just make your own. To keep it from looking warped, you can set the height and width to match the size of the picture. Then to add an overlay, drag a sprite onto the canvas and upload the overlay image that you want to use. Again, give it a static height and width so that it's not warped. The last two components that we need to make this work are a camera component and a sharing component. Now if you want to preview this on your phone, App Inventor has a cool plugin called AI Companion that you can download from the App Store to your Android device. Once it's installed, click Connect and then AI Companion and scan the QR code from within the app. Now you can preview real-time changes on your actual Android device. Now we need to make it functional. So click on the Blocks button to get to the Blockly interface. Blockly is like Legos for programmers. Instead of code, you can stack and snap blocks together. Here you'll see different block categories, including the ones for our different components. So let's start with our Picture button. Select it and drag out a When It Is Clicked block. Then select the camera and drag the take a picture block into the button block until it snaps. This tells it to take a picture whenever the picture button is clicked. Piece of cake. To set that image as our canvas background, drag out a after picture block and then with the canvas drag a background image block. If you hover over this image text, you can drag the get image block to the end of this block. Now on your phone, you should be able to take a picture and set it as the canvas background. Then to add overlay text, drag out a when clicked block for our apply button, and then with the canvas, clear it and then draw text to it using the text box as the source. The X and Y values are for the width and height positioning respectively. Dragging out a number block, I'm setting X to half of my image width and Y to about 30 pixels from the bottom of the image. You can customize the text by adding a canvas paint color and font size block. Duplicating this set of blocks and adjusting the positioning will give you a cool 3D effect. 
Last, let's make a way to share it. So drag out a share button clicked block, and then from the share component, drag a share file block. But you'll see that it requires a file path, which we don't have. So first we need to save our image to a file before we can share it. So from the canvas, drag out a save file as block. And to get it to fit, you can use an evaluate but ignore block to snap it into. Then drag out a text block and put a file name into it with the JPEG extension. Now we can point to this file from our share block, but we need to use its full file path name, which would be this. Now give it a try and see if it works. If you see this option, then you can now share your image with whatever apps your phone allows. Tweak it as much as you want, but at this point you have your first working app. You can now go to the build menu to download it to your phone or to upload it to the app store. You can find mine here at this link. If you want a more detailed behind the scenes look at making this app, you can click here when it becomes available. You can also click here to check out more of my videos like this. And if you'd like to support my show, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.